Okay, so here is step two. Um, step two involves uh, creating a sidebar and assigning that sidebar to a specific page. So what we're going to do is go to Appearance and we're going to go to Widgets. And as you can see, I've already created a sidebar for the general Iceland page, but I'm going to create a new one for Reykjavik. Um, oops. Let's see, how does one spell Reykjavik? Once. So I put the name Reykjavik. Don't really need a description if you don't want one. And then create sidebar. Now, for now, we see that we have a new sidebar called Reykjavik. And you don't need to worry about sidebar location. You don't need to worry about edit at the moment. You just need to know that there is now a sidebar called Reykjavik. So I'm going to go over to uh, the page, Reykjavik. And I am going to open it. And down here on the right, you'll notice there's a new sidebars um, option where I am going to choose which sidebar we show. Um, hold on a second, let me move this up so you can see it. So the primary sidebar for that page is going to be Reykjavik. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, until I move the actual page template over, that's not going to show. Um, so you can go ahead and add it and it's not going to do anything to the page until I uh, put that code in there or I put the new page in there. So Essentially, you can build this entirely without uh, worrying about it messing up the front end design because, like I said, there's one page of code that's going to move over and it's going to replace this, and then all of a sudden, the sidebar is going to show. So, so what you want to do then is go through Appearance, Widgets, and basically add a new sidebar for each of those destinations and then go into that destination page and assign that sidebar to that page. That's step two.